Like what? On the threads? No, it only needs to be on the bottom part. Doesn't matter, it's gonna burn off anyway. Just for tightening the first time. What do you do the clamps? Uh, they're over here. Hidden? All right. Yep. So we're gonna throw the old crap exhaust on there for now. I just run it without, but he likes having pipes on there for some reason. Yeah, some weird reason. <clears throat> Maybe with my tools. Deal. I'm gonna fix the light. Hammer something. Big ass hammer. Why? Hit the bottom of this. Can't hammer on a bike or break. And what? It's lost. It's wrong. Uh oh, oh some cheap ass wire. Goes on the other side. Oh, you're white. It's dim. <clears throat> What's the problem over here? Horse thread. See, that's why your old one's broken. From the hardware. Could get that half inch. Oh, jeez, he broke it. He broke it.
We don't need to be watching this. See if they fit before you goop them up. It's favorite ones, crappy ass chrome. They go in? Kind of. Kind of, sort of. I can really tell I got grease all over my fingers. Oh, well, grease them up then. Well, I need to make sure that they fit, just like you said. Stupid ass stuff. It's hard to believe Taiwan parts don't work. Try the front one. The front one? Yeah. See if it talks about. <clears throat> that one works. I mean, it seems really tight. Well, I did screw the thread up the first one, trying to put the wrong thread in it. Yeah, that doesn't seem. Okay, pull it off. Find out what's going on. Stupid ass aftermarket crap. Of course, these are chrome bolts, which might be some of the issue anyway. You think it's like the chrome plating? So they need to be fucking die. Alright. Alright. Alright, so because of the chrome on here, you can't get the bolts in. So that's super cool. So we're gonna go out the back and clean up the threads. You know it's good. <laughs> nice. Precision. Almost a bolt on. Almost a bolt on. There you go. Now it looks like it works. After you go through it the whole way Get some oil. I'll trade you have to blow it off all right Bit of main Taiwan, but they chrome in Mexico. Yeah, got that Mexican chrome in there. Love that shit. Real thick. That's the way to do it, man. Nothing fits. All right. Cool. Now they might. Fit better than they did. That's all right. Let's go put these on. And kick this beast over.
Well, let's check before I do anything. Coarse thread. Oh, imagine that. What a fetch. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Hard to believe. Here you go. You can have that one. I don't want that one. It's dirty. Yeah. Can you give me a little bit of oh, grease? Right don't forget the lock washer. What's the grease for? The grease is so that you can tighten it down. There's a case of threads so you can torque. Torque, you torque, torque, torque. Just the tip. Wrong way. Sure. There you go. Try it both ways if you want. Look at that vintage chrome bolt he's got. It's brilliant. I like that. Where's that other bolt? One sitting right here in front of you. Vintage chrome. Tip and lock washer. I like how it has a you can lubricate a pipe there with grease too. That's good. Yeah, you gotta keep it gotta keep it fast. Adds horsepower. Everybody knows that. Surprised you don't. Well, I don't know anything about that. Plus the air resistant, we got grease on it. Yeah. Because it cuts through the air faster because of the grease. That's what I thought. Horsepower, man. Horsepower. It goes through that hole. God damn it. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know. <coughs> Find your big ratchet, torque them with that. Is it tight? Yeah. Sure. Broke my tool. Look at that. Oh, there you go. All right. Look at that. Um, I'm not sure. Torque that. But uh, you're not sure about what. I think the what? juice on this thing is bad. What juice? Look at the light. It was bright. It was. Yeah. It's going dead quick though. Yeah. I think your battery's dead. You that sure. brand new one? It ain't new. Oh, it's new to you. Yeah, it's new to me. It's new to you. Right. Came on that race bike over there. It shouldn't have gone dead just sitting there because it was fully charged before. So that means there's short. Or the battery's piece of crap. Either one. Or both. Yep. Where's your charger? Right here. There you go. Is it plugged in? Nope. Cover up that grease. What? Cover up that grease. All right. Okay, over here. What? Electric outlet's right over there. You have to get this lid off. The lid is off. All right. Need a couple of alligator clips. What are you doing over there? Well, just a battery charger. Come on. Yeah, Jesus. How far hard could it be? Those the right ones. Sparking so much. I don't know. Okay, so somebody's got a red terminal on the ground. That's good. Why is it sparking? I don't know. Well, if it's sparking, is it charging over there? Yeah. Okay, that's probably why it's sparking. Oh, it's plugged in. Duh. Genius. All right, turn the light on. What? Oh, this one? Tail light's on. There we go. Nice and bright. Brake works. Is the light on? That's how it was when you first turned it on. Bright. That's bright. Good. Okay, the battery might not be the best. Came out of a rest bike, so you know, get what you get. Alright. Worst case, put a new one in it. Anyway, that one works for now. 
<clears throat> Once you charge it up, anyway. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, get all the tools off the racks so they don't vibrate all over the place. Maybe that too. It's going to make a lot of vibration noises when it starts, anyway. Yeah, it will. Over here. Can you do that? I'll grab you a tic tac. Slip and slide. Just do that. That's what you need. Alright, I'll be back. I can't mess around here. <clears throat> 